Good day and warm greetings to you. This is a video on investment analysis and portfolio management and the topic that we'll be covering is bond valuation. The aspect of bond valuation we shall cover includes the pricing, the costing, the core provisions and of course duration. I hope you enjoy watching. First of all, we need to know what a bond is. What is the meaning of bond? A bond is simply a fixed interest instrument. A bond is simply a fixed interest instrument which in which to which the lender to which the lender gives money to a borrower. The borrower is usually an organization, a company or a government. Either the federal, a federal government, a state government, a local government. The, the lender may be a company, may be an individual, but the borrower is usually always an organization or a government. When this agreement to lend and borrow is being entered into, a document is usually framed. That document is called an indenture. That document is called an indenture. Inside that document, you will find all the relevant information about the bond. Now, what are the types of information about bonds that you will find inside the indenture? One of them is the maturity of the bond. The maturity of the bond. Maturity of the bond means a date, the end, or a date when the money borrowed will be repaid. Maturity of the bond simply means a date, a future date, when the money borrowed will be repaid. Another information about the bond that will be found in the indenture is the principal, the particular amount the principal, the particular amount that was borrowed. That principal or particular amount that was borrowed is another information that will be found on the indenture. Another information is that interest, that fixed interest. You know, I said that a bond is a fixed interest instrument. That fixed interest rate that is the, in, the rate at which interest will be paid on the money borrowed. That fixed interest rate is another information that will be found on the indenture. Now, having talked about what a bond means, we shall now look at how bonds are priced. How bonds are priced. Why do we consider how bonds are priced? Because if I approach you today as a borrower, and you are the lender. If I approach you, that please borrow me so 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 amount. If you, for instance, if I approach you to borrow me a thousand naira today, that I will repay you by this time next year. If you give me that one thousand today, and I give you that same one thousand back in a year's time, as one year period has passed, that passage of time has already affected the value of money. So therefore, we, because we know that the value of money is affected by time, we therefore, we therefore make provisions for this passage of time. So, so that we pay you the equivalent, we price the bond. We price the bond according to the present day equivalent of that future value you want to give me. That money I am borrowing today, if I'm telling you that I am paying you 1,000 back in a year's time, I know that 1,000 in a year's time cannot be the same as 1,000 Naira today. Because if I'm, it will take me to save less than 1,000 Naira today and receive interest and have that 1,000. Let us assume that we have a five years, a five years 1,000 Naira bond paying interest at 10% per annum with a yield to maturity of 15%. How should the bond be 
Christ, Christ's name of God. How should we go in Christ? The bond is simply Christ as a function, pricing of the bond will be, oh, okay, let me use the subscript, because bond can also mean debt. So the price of the bond will be a, a summation of the interest at time t divided by 1 plus e to maturity at time t plus the maturity value at time n divided by 1 plus e to maturity at time n. So the bond is priced as a summation of all the annual interest that will be received, including the maturity value at the expiration of the time of the bond or on the due date. PD yeah, means market price or pricing of debt or bond. R simply means annual interest payment. Y, YTM simply means the yield to maturity. And the MV means the maturity value or amount or amount to be the paid on the due date. T is the time counting T means the time counting from year one, year two, year three, year four year after year up to the due date up to the final year why n is the final is the due date or the final year now you will take note you will take note that the if you look at the information given the number of years The number of years of this bond has been given as five. And then we have a face value of 1,000. The interest being 10% per annum. And the yield to maturity being 15%. Now, you see this, this face value. It's simply, face value simply means the amount that the borrower is going to repay at the, at the due date. Face value simply means the amount the borrower is going to repay at the due date. When the agreement to lend and borrow is entered into, there is a particular amount that the borrower is collecting today, the day is borrowing. There is a particular amount the borrower is collecting today, which is the day he's borrowing. That amount is collecting today, which is the day he's borrowing, is the pricing we are trying to determine. That amount is going to collect today that is borrowing is what we are trying to determine by the pricing. So on the due date, the day on the day that is agreed that the money borrowed will be repaid, how much will be repaid is what is called the face value. It will be written in the indenture or in the agreement document that on so 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 date, which is the date the borrower is repaying what he borrowed, this is the amount that is going to be repaid. That amount is what is called the face value. Now, that amount, even though it is called the face value, can come in any form. Meaning that what is going to be repaid on the due date may come 
with different description. It may come with different description. It may be repaid, the repayment may be done with a premium. The repayment may be done with a premium. Meaning that the borrower will pay something higher, something more. Something more than what is what is the face value. The repayment may also be done at a discount. Meaning that the borrower will pay something less than the face value. And then the repayment may also be done at par. If the repayment is done at par, that simply means that the borrower will pay back exactly the face value. But in any case, whatever the agreement is, whatever the repayment is going to be, that is what is called the maturity value. Maturity value, what the, whether the, the maturity value is what the borrower will repay at the end. It could be at a premium, which means that it will pay a percentage more, a percentage more than what is on the face value. It could be at a discount, which means that it will pay a percentage less than what is on the face value, and it could be at par, which means that it will, it will pay exactly what is written as the face value. And in any case, if the document is silent about this, it is always assumed that the repayment will be done at par. It's always assumed that the repayment will be done at par. So now let us now go back to our example where we have a repayment period. The loan, the bond is supposed, the duration of the bond is for five years. The face value, that is the money, the amount that should be repaid is 1,000. The interest, the annual, the fixed interest, the fixed interest which the lender will collect every year for the next five years is 10%. Why the yield to maturity is 15%. We are still coming back to the yield to maturity. So I told you that this is the formula to determine, this is the formula to determine the appropriate pricing. So I can reverse, I can reverse this and say that price of debt is the same thing as summation at t equals to one. So annual interest into one plus y to maturity which is minus t plus maturity value at time n into one plus y to maturity to minus n what i have done is simply reverse by bringing this denominator to the side so that it is much easier so that it is much easier for me to to do my calculations so ah R, which is the annual interest, is usually calculated as it has been given 10% of the face value. The interest is usually calculated based on the face value. The interest is usually calculated on the face value. So in this case, we have 10% of 1,000 which is 100 Naira. So the every year, every year, meaning that, meaning that, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. What this means is that every year, in the first year, in the, let's say, what, what this means is that in, in this year zero, a certain amount was given to the borrower. A certain amount was given to the borrower. That amount is what we are trying to determine. And then the borrower will begin every year. That amount is what we are trying to determine now. What was given or what is appropriate to be given to the borrower. To the borrower. So every year, the, the borrower will pay back 10% of the face value to the lender. That 10% we have calculated to be 100 Naira. So in the first year, the borrower will pay the lender 100 Naira. In the second year, the borrower will pay, he will continue to pay 100 Naira. So that fifth year, 
this 1,000 face value the borrower would then pay. So at the end of the five years, the borrower would have paid the lender one, two, three, four, five, 1,500. No. This is what would have happened. But we are trying to determine how much the lender will hand over to the borrower, which is the pricing. So what we do is to discount. What this information is telling us is to discount is to discount all these amounts that the borrower will hand over to the lender. So now, like I said, I'm going to have to discount all these values at the yield, at the rate of the yield to maturity. So I'm going to have price of debt equals to 100 into 1.15 raised to power minus 1 plus 100 into 1.15 minus 2, 1, 5, minus 3 plus 100, 1.15 minus 4, plus 100 into 1.15 minus 5, plus 1,000 into 1.45 minus 5. So that should give me 100 into this plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 So I have used my calculator to determine the values of these figures inside the bracket. So what I do now is to multiply. So if I multiply the first one, I have 86.96 plus 75.61 plus 65.75 plus 57.18 plus 49.25. Four ninety-seven point two. If I add all this, if I add all this, I will have I will have the appropriate pricing for the bond. So since this simply means that the appropriate pricing for the bond is eight hundred and thirty-two point four two, meaning that any reasonable investor should not pay more than eight hundred and thirty-two naira forty-two for the bond.